Zach Craig with Armor Tech. Welcome back for another one of our installation videos. Today we're going to show you how to assemble your Armor Tech cab on the new Honda Pioneer 1000. Before we get started, let's go over a couple tools needed for the job. A 7 16 open end wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, P3 bit, a P3 bit installed in a drill or impact to speed things up just a bit. So I'll need a drill and a quarter inch drill bit. We got our main front out of the box, going with a small bag with our bungee and a little bit of hardware. And before we get too far in depth, we'll go ahead and take these ear brackets off. They're just hand tied on there. This will actually hold the piece to the roll bar and will secure it to the box. Now we'll go ahead and grab our front piece and go ahead and set it on the box. Okay, now this angled channel will actually go over and loop over the roll bar. Pull it left to right to center it. Now that we got our front set on the bike, we can go ahead and take the ear brackets we just took off and go ahead and tighten those down. We'll take our bolt, go ahead and assemble that in the first slot and the loop down. Then go lock washer and then put our nut on. I'll now take my 7 16 wrench and my drill and we'll go ahead and tighten these all down. We'll now relocate the bag that was inside of our box, our hardware bag. Inside the contents will be a short bungee two loop straps, 5 8 bolt, lock nuts, and some flat washers. So before we attach our bungee, we want to go ahead and take our loop straps, kind of spring them open just a little bit, and attach them onto our bungee cord. Okay, so on the front part of the bike, right here with our Honda emblem on this flat, when it comes to a rise, there's a point right here. We want to just drop down a little bit under that point, and we'll go ahead and drill our quarter inch hole in that point. Same thing on the other side. We'll now take our little clips, insert the bolt through the clips, in the hole we just drilled in the plastic, take a flat washer, a lock nut, and we have to reach around through. We'll now take our 7 16 wrench and our Phillips P3 screwdriver insert it in and just tighten them up. So we've now got our front piece installed. We'll now go to our rear piece, which will be part number 162. There's no bags or hardware. All the hardware is already pre-attached. So we'll want to go ahead and take these loop straps off and also these side plates, mounting plates off as well. This top plate that is mounted on the rear is strictly to seal on the single cab Honda Pioneer. For the double cab with the roll bar, we'll want to take this off. Now take a T30 Torx bit, go ahead and insert that in my screwdriver, and we'll just unscrew these two bolts right here that are holding our seatbelt clip on. That will need to be removed prior to placing the rear onto the frame. Now take our side mounting bracket. This relief hole will actually go on the bottom, over the bottom screw right here. Bolts will be coming in from the back side. And take a flat washer and a lock nut. Now go ahead and tighten those bolts down. We'll now come inside the cab and mount our loop straps across the inside bar there. We'll take, open up our window and slide it out. We'll actually come in from the back side. We'll go with a flat washer and the lock nut. We'll 
We're now ready for our final piece to complete our three piece cab. The last will be our top, which will be a UC160 on part number. The only tool you'll need for the job is a ratchet and a 916 socket. We've got a hardware bag with some lock nuts and two loop straps and two small mounting brackets for the back of the top. Now take a loop strap and two of our lock nuts. We'll come to the front. And right up in the front corner, we'll go ahead and stick our bolts on. We'll now come in from the passenger side on the front side again. We'll do the same thing. Now take our mounting bracket and one of our lock nuts. There'll be one single bolt in the channel here. This bracket will actually loop around the bar and go up through the bolt. Now take our ratchet with our 916 socket and go ahead and tighten everything down. Our three-piece cab. It's now installed, it's secured tight, you can enjoy it on your next ride.